I want to show the sharpener. I finally uh, received it from the manufacturer. Um, it's turned out awesome. Uh, all the parts are exactly the way I designed it and intended it to, to work. And so I'll just go through all the features of it and explain uh, how it works and what the updates to the system are. Uh, so I'll start with the, the magnetic holder. So here you can see uh, there's an angle range of zero to 30 degrees and with increments of one degree. Previously, there was only increments of uh, seven and a half degrees. To adjust the angle, you would loosen these. And these could also be swapped out for thumb screws, so it's really easy. So you can set to zero, or you can set up to uh, almost 30. So I'll just put it at like 12 and a half. Um, on the magnetic holder, uh, there's a, a really nice uh, piece of rubber on it. It's a uh, it's a textured rubber. It's it's fairly soft um, uh, and it's sticky, so it, it really holds the knife nicely. And underneath here, there's <clears throat> two large magnets that hold that hold the knife in place. So they're they're actually covered by the um, the rubber right now. So based on the size of the knife you have, um, you can adjust this plate. So for a, a small paring knife, you would uh, move it up closer to here and move it up closer to here. And, and then you would tighten it. Or for like a chef's knife, you would move it all the way back. So that's how it holds it. And it holds it uh, firm enough that, you know, it holds the weight of the knife. It's fairly, it holds it on there pretty tightly. It gives it a, a secure, a secure hold. Then there's also in here a, a bearing. It's a thrust bearing on the top. So it looks kind of like a washer, but it's actually a, a thrust ball bearing. And then between this interface, between the this top piece and this piece, there's a needle roller bearing uh, that's about an inch and a half, uh, inch and a quarter wide, and it just makes it spin really nicely. So, like you can see, roller bearing uh, that's about. So it makes it very uh, smooth, and yet it's uh, it's firm. Like there's no there's no wobble or movement in it. So I'm going to switch out to the uh, clamp holder. So to do that, you remove the, the magnetic, magnetic holder and you put the clamp holder on. on. So again, you can adjust the angle to what you, whatever you want it to be. So I'll just put it back, I'll put it like at 20 on this one. And then it uses like a, a Tormek style clamp. So you put the knife in here, uh, tighten this screw. So it's just kind of snug on the knife and then the rear screw uh, makes it very tight. So uh, a great feature about this is that uh, you can flip the knife over. So you just pop it forward and pull it back. And there is a, uh, a ball spring plunger in here over. So you just. So this is, this is it. And then on the knife, there's a groove. that it, it gets set on, that, that it seats on. So then there's a, a, a groove right here where that ball spring sits on. Then I want to show over here, there's a, 
there's this bubble level and that tells you how horizontal the then I want to show over here horizontal rod is so it's really visible it's a big improvement from the previous version and horizontal rod is and uh, so the bubble level uh, it tells you what the level of it is and then in here uh, there's you can kind of see a uh, and, uh, so the a shiny ring around here that's a linear bearing or a linear bushing and that makes uh, it's just slightly larger than the rod and so like the rod can slide very smoothly up and down and there's a shiny ring around here that also one on on this portion of the holder so like when you slide it it really doesn't move like it doesn't it's not wobbly at all it's a really tight fit and between here between these two pieces there's a a ball a ball also one on all thrust bearing and so then that allows this this bolt to be tightened pretty tightly so that um, it it doesn't have much play in it. All right, and then a thrust bearing. And so then that allows the final feature I want to show is uh, is the stone holder. So, the, so this is a, just kind of a, a standard stone holder and this is a 10 inch stone in here. Uh, and so it accepts uh, essentially any size stone uh, so you can make it shorter or longer based on the stone size. Um, it can also have essentially any height of stone because all, all you do is raise the bubble level uh, so that the rod's horizontal if it's a thicker stone.